December 29th, 11 o'clock a.m. My brother just got a positive diagnosis for COVID-19. So we're all on our way to get tested today. The whole fam, we're going all together. Can't work for two weeks. Hashtag broke. I know it's stupid to worry about work, but in this economy, bitch, you can't get sick. It's a real issue. Every influencer ever. Hi guys, this collab was super safe. We all got rapid COVID tests. We're all negative. There's no danger. Stop attacking me just because I'm privileged. Living some of that influencer lifestyle for a second. <laughs> C'est autre chose. Je suis pas en train de dire. Uh -huh. C'est quoi le problème? C'est pas comme logique. C'est un condiment. Peut-être que tu devrais juste l'essayer. Avant de me juger. Hein? Essaye-le. Quoi? J'ai jamais aimé le ketchup depuis que je suis en Amérique. J'ai jamais cru mettre du ketchup. Non, tu peux pas te faire deux fois. C'est à moi. Moi, quand j'ai mis le rouge, tantôt, parce que là, on est trois. Tantôt, quand t'as fait ça, c'est parce qu'on était juste deux. <rire> Tu vois, mais c'est que je me débarrasse. Ouais, mais c'est que je Non, mais là, on, est entre... on va échanger. Là, tu me donnes, non, tu me donnes ton paquet. Tu peux pas échanger quelque chose que je n'ai pas Oui. Non Mais cette carte, t'as pas eu le droit de l'utiliser en dernier 
Pourquoi Parce qu'il faut échanger un paquet. Mais je peux pas échanger, je mets le paquet échangé. Mais vous, vous échangez, moi j'échange. Non Today is December 30th. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I just got a call from the clinic saying that I am positive with COVID-19. I have COVID. I can't. 2020 really said let's end it on a bang. Also my dad has it. My sister is fine. She's negative. I think she's the only negative in the house. She has to leave. It's very strange because I don't really have any symptoms when I went and got the test this morning I did wake up with like a little bit of an itchy throat but that's it so it's honestly kind of frustrating because I've been following guidelines since the beginning I've only seen people when the government would allow it and it was with masks and we t we took all like the safety precautions I've only been out for work and it just feels kind of unfair to see that people have been living their life so normally i've seen so many people have a regular summer hang out with new people every day don't give a damn and nothing has happened to them or at least maybe we don't know maybe they did get it but anyways feels kind of unfair it is what it is now i'm just gonna try to make the best out of it and i'm gonna try to have fun i'm off of work for two weeks now the time that the quarantine is over the only thing that I started doing this and then I forgot I'm supposed to film or at least I'm trying to document this whole thing If you haven't watched my every way to create faux freckles video then you may not know that you can do them with fake tan I have this whole bottle and I have no idea how I'm going to go through each one because you literally need the tiniest amount to do them you basically just pump out the fake tan and then you use a small pointed brush and then you draw on your freckles yep 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 it's pretty easy i'm starting to feel a little bit sick um headaches as well as my throat itching a little bit but other than that, I feel fine. I just want to say like a little disclaimer. I hope my video doesn't sound like I'm making COVID such a little deal and like I'm not taking it seriously. Quite the contrary, I've followed every restriction and guideline and I still have it. Obviously, I'm young, so my body is in better shape than someone else who could get it i just want to share this experience with you guys because personally i feel like it's not going to be so bad for me and like i'm stuck at home for two weeks so i might as well just make some content out of it covid is a very serious situation you should wear a mask you should social distance and you should be super careful with it i feel like it goes without saying but not everybody thinks that way so why do i look so red Lobster chick <laughs> Also this morning I called my work because obviously I had to warn them about my diagnosis And they were like you have to be super careful and not share anything on social media And I was like uh-huh Too late I already did like literally as I got tested yesterday I put it on my Instagram stories Um Choke me like you hate me when you love me Loki you wanna date me when you fuck me 
COVID really said new year, new me. This is gonna be a long two weeks. I'm already so bored. So bored. This is concerning and terrifying. <laughs> Hi guys, today is December 31st, New Year's Eve, oh my god, and um, I really don't feel so good today, um, I think some of the symptoms are showing, my throat hurts, my body hurts, my head hurts, and I just feel like really tired, I felt like i woke up a lot yesterday and i wasn't able to sleep properly like i'm definitely going to be taking a few naps today and i'm totally staying in my bed and not moving at all yay new year's eve in my bed having covid while influencers are in the bahamas <laughs> it's honestly unfair i have to take my pills Also, I have a toothache. Uh, it really hurts. I'm pretty sure it's a cavity. Oh yeah, by the way, I washed my face yesterday and this is what the freckles look like. They're really faded because I scrubbed my face quite a bit. I forgot I had the fake tan on, so... But whatever. It doesn't even matter. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. Maybe I'll get ready a little later on. You know, just in spirits of New Year. I don't know. I'd be fine just ordering food, honestly, and chilling. My sister and I have been watching Bridgerton. Bridgerton? Bridgerton? I don't know. Uh, this new series, like, on Netflix, which is, like, a mix of, I don't know, like, Pride and Prejudice and Gossip Girl, and it's really good. Oh my god, it's so good. And we've been watching it on Scener. So... It's on, it's on Netflix, but we use this extension, this Google Chrome extension called Scener. And basically, you can see each other, you can talk, and you can react. And it's a really fun thing if you want to have, like, movie parties with your friends and you can't see each other. So, yeah. My sister went back to her apartment. Basically, she is the only negative in the house so we thought it was better for her to leave it was probably the smartest thing to do we're pretty sure though she had it before because the odds of her not getting it is literally impossible i mean i don't know if it's impossible but it's like the chances are so slim literally everybody has it in my house everybody Okay, I really thought I was going. Oh, I really thought I wasn't going to have any energy today, but I'm feeling much better now. Like a little later, actually, it's much later. This year, we're doing New Year's slightly different. Um, we typically always celebrate with my family. It's different this year. There's COVID. My little cousin organized the Google Meets and he has like some few activities planned and stuff. Yeah, I just logged into the meeting. I'm waiting for people to join and we're going to be spending New Year's that way. My cousin got dressed up and everything. I feel bad because I'm like literally in leggings and a crew neck and I'm not even wearing a bra. <laughs>
two, one. Happy New Year. Oh my gosh. Okay, I believe today is like day three or four. It's January 1st and I think I lost my sense of smell. I just put on my perfume. This is the one. Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush, which is my favorite. I've been wearing this scent for two years now. It smells different. It smells like alcohol. And this scent is super sweet and I love it. This is so strange. Also, it's not completely gone. I can still smell, but like barely. It's like gone by 80%. And I feel like it's going down even more. I've also just lit up this candle. A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works. I can barely smell it. I mean, Y'all know that stuff is powerful. Barely, I can barely smell it. Not even kidding. No cap. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, what even is the point of candles if I can smell- I can't smell them anymore.
first time driving my dad's car. I'm so scared. Hello? His car is so advanced and cool, unlike mine. two days honestly my nose like hurts so bad i don't know like it's just it's so dry but it hurts and it gives me really like really really bad headaches and i don't have anything to like make steam i guess i could boil some water and pour my put my head over the steam like honestly thinking about the fact that we still have to do six days at home and in my room i just i'm gonna lose my mind because i'm already feeling so much cabin fever also i did my makeup i tried to do my makeup and it turned out so disgusting i like i want to take it off because i feel so ugly right now Thank you. 
Starting next Saturday, there'll be a curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. during four weeks. So after 8 p.m., you won't be allowed to go out <coughs> to the streets except for work. Non-essential activities will also continue to be closed until February 8th. better now sometimes it's just good to let everything out and cry for a bit it felt really great i don't know how much of that i will include in this video but just so you know everyone has bad days i'm gonna be doing a face mask this is the ordinary aha and bha peeling solution i got this because of tiktok and i'm still using it it's gonna be almost a year i have to get a few clips i've been documenting every single time that i've been using this face mask for an upcoming video I'm not sure I like filming with this phone. It blurs my skin too much. Anyways, I wanted to talk about the last few days and having COVID. I haven't talked about losing my taste. It's been a very strained experience. Actually, the first day that I lost my sense of taste, I had no idea I did lose it because it's not that obvious. It's not you know that you've lost it because you can still taste if something is sweet or if something is salty but it's the underlying flavors that is hard to tell and then as the days went by it was more and more obvious that i lost my sense of taste i think i've seen a tiktok about a girl who had covid and she was like watch out i'm gonna eat healthy now it's not as easy because like i said you can still differentiate when food is salty and when it is sweet if like me you are a person that consumes quite a good amount of sweets then your body is still craving it and you can still taste it and it's actually the thing that you can taste the most is sugar other than that i'd say my diet hasn't really changed I still eat the same kinds of food. Um, I've been trying to get more veggies in because I can't taste them and I know it's good for me. And I've been trying to eat some foods that just feel nice, have nice textures. Texture, textures. <laughs> Other than that, I'm gaining forces slowly but surely. I was really tired for the past few days. The days I did not document anything were the days that I felt probably the most tired, lethargic, lots of the heavy fatigue. Those were the days that I stayed in bed and didn't do anything, so there was no need for me to document them. I'm going back to work the 13th of January and I'm excited. <laughs> I miss working, I miss seeing people, and I miss moving my body. It's been hard staying indoors, doing nothing. I know I've lost a lot of my cardio. The job that I have, I move a lot, and it's a way for me to stay active. But of course, being home and staying in my bed, that has been pretty hard on my body. So our public health only requires us to stay in quarantine for 10 days. Um, it is what they have instructed for my family and I. It's also the information they've passed on to my employers. So yeah, I will be going back to work. And as of tomorrow, I am technically COVID free and going back to a normal life, even though it's not normal because we're back in full lockdown with a curfew. So that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be hard with the winter blues and everything. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For me, it was a fun way to cope with everything going on. Stay safe out there. Please take COVID seriously. It is real. It's not fun to have it. Take care of your loved ones and think of them every time that you're about to take a decision that could potentially affect them for the rest of their lives. Be careful, be kind, and yes, that's all I can say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, bye! <laughs>